Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Often, a side dish can become the main course. I think of aloo gobi, cauliflower fried rice, poutine, mac and cheese, baked beans, and more. Here's another one that can be served with or without a protein, and it's my North African vegetable couscous. With a nice assortment of veggies, along with spices and herbs, this flavorful recipe is a healthy dish to enjoy this fall. So let's get cooking. In a large skillet over medium heat, we'll add oil, and when it gets hot, we'll add white onions and season with ground sea salt. We'll saute them for two minutes or until they start getting translucent. Next, we'll add ginger, pressed garlic, three large cloves, a teaspoon of ground cumin, the same with ground turmeric and hot paprika, then some ground coriander and freshly ground black pepper. When I say black pepper, I always use mixed peppercorns, okay? We'll quickly saute everything for only 30 seconds, enough to wake up the fragrance from the spices. We'll now pour in the chicken broth, I'm using low sodium here, before adding diced carrots, butternut squash, and to find two easy ways to peel and prep it, click on the top right corner of your screen. Then potatoes, it can be either waxy or all-purpose, followed by cauliflower florets, a cinnamon stick, and finally, raisins. Although dry apricots is another delicious option. We'll stir until nicely combined, increase the heat to high, and bring the mixture to a boil. We'll then cover, reduce the heat to medium, and simmer for eight minutes or until the veggies are just tender. Don't overcook them, all right? Next, we'll add the chickpeas, a cup of diced Roma tomatoes, and some frozen peas slightly thawed. We'll stir well. Oh my, look at that color. It's a rainbow of yumminess. <laughs> then we'll go ahead and scoop up some of the liquid. We don't need that much, just three to four tablespoons, and add it to the harissa. It mixes more evenly that way when it's diluted. We'll give it a quick stir and pour it to the vegetable mixture. Of course, we'll stir once again so it's well blended before adding the star of the show, the couscous. We'll mix it well and I can't get over how beautiful it is. Don't you agree? I love making this dish. All right, so we'll put the lid on, turn off the heat, and let it stand for 10 minutes before serving. And my friends, this is our North African vegetable couscous. This incredibly colorful dish is loaded with deliciousness. Healthy and easy to make, this is a recipe that can be enjoyed as a side or by itself. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!